All right, hey guys, Leroy Diesel coming to you with another brand new product. We're always innovating and doing something different. Um, so this is going to be what I call the valve cover girdle. And as you see, I've got the inject hard lines removed here, all four of them. I've actually got the other side done also. I just, I'll, I'll, anyway, I'm not going to show you that side. You get everything you need to know on this side. Um, turbos removed coincidentally um, it'd probably be a lot easier job if your turbos removed if you can get it down to this point uh, when there's a will there's a way you may not have to uh, don't um, I mean when you're putting in a new valve cover or resealing it go through whatever your normal procedure is um, typically a lot of people like to just glue them basically get the right stuff or some black RTV and basically you're gluing that valve cover um, it's your choice if you want to use a gasket I'm not going to tell you how to seal your valve cover but once you get to that point and you're sealing that thing up um, then the next step with this kit is going to be you will get uh, the valve an extra set of valve cover gaskets and you can see that that's installed there on the outside of the valve cover and that's because the valve cover lip or the rim is kind of got an irregular shape to it and so we're trying to get as much clamping force as we can you can also see that I've installed the valve stud or valve cover studs all in all eight positions and so right here I've got the actual girdle and I'm going to try and set this camera down and put that on real quick so you can kind of see how that goes. So it's just that quick. Uh, the valve studs the valve cover studs are going to have a hex in them so you can get a allen wrench in them like that and that way you can tighten these things up you just want to bottom and bottom them out hand tight only there's no real reason to crank on those just as soon as they bottom out that's all you need to do uh, get a couple nuts going there once you get the studs in it's just a matter of putting these 13 millimeter nuts down I'm probably not going to bore you with watching me do all eight of those Oop. almost dropped that one Okay, you get the idea. Um, and then uh, the one with the, the brackets on it. Sorry about this. Let me. Okay, the one with the brackets on it. Actually, I got to get my other hand clear. Give me one second. Okay. Those are going to go under that return line there we go hopefully I'm there we go so that slides back in like it was um, same thing on the driver side the one that the uh, dipstick usually will screw to the heat shield goes on this side um, and I'll get some pictures or whatever if I need to to show that but that's about as simple as it gets. Um, what you're doing, the concept of this is you have a flange to go around your whole valve cover and that's putting a lot more even pressure and more clamping force all the way around that valve cover. Because um, you, even out here where sometimes you get those, those um, spreaders and they only go out to about here or here, you know, kind of like a big block Chevy has. 
but the nice thing about these is it actually goes all the way around the corner. It's 360 degrees around this valve cover, and um, then those studs make it kind of nice. Um, the original bolts are not going to be long enough, so that's why we go with these studs, and it kind of makes it convenient when you're doing this bracket over here because uh, the bolts aren't long enough. So I think that's it. Um, I'll get a real quick video of me doing the other side also. Um, and I can't think of anything else. As always, I need you guys to like and subscribe, comment down in the thing. Um, so that's it. Y'all have a good day. Thanks. Okay, Leroy Diesel. I had a bright idea that I could throw this uh, cylinder head up on the table here and show you guys a little better and a little um, more detail. So let's pretend that this truck is mounted uh, on the block and we could be in the truck or whatever like that last video I just showed you. Um, so you have your choice to put a gasket here for your seal on the valve cover or not. A lot of people will just use black RTV or the brand called the right stuff and they'll just squirt out a bead on uh, either the valve cover or the head and I, I actually you also need to make sure that these services are perfectly clean free of oil this is just something I pulled out of the shop real quick for this demo it's actually pretty clean but it's uh, had a gasket down there before so it's got the cork on there um, so the what this is showing is my new uh, valve cover girdle is what I'm getting ready to show you and what will be included are these studs so it makes it easy if you're putting gaskets on especially when the engine is tilted um, on an engine stand or in the truck or whatever it'll be normally it's gonna be have an angle to it and if you go ahead and pre-install these studs it makes it a lot easier to use those studs as guides for the valve cover and also the gasket. Um, this I left one stud here just to show you the idea. So let me get that in the viewfinder a little better. Yeah. So it bottomed out, and I'm just gonna literally about that much. It's just slightly more than hand tight. Um, so now you could pokey it up with your favorite RTV or whatever and if you were going to do that look how nice that uh, these studs act as guides so it's going to just boom it's just going to lay right down on that bead of, of RTV you just put down like that and um, if, if I'm going to go that procedure what I would do then is you, uh, I would only put the RTV on this surface and then I would come in and I would put the valve cover down to act as a look for a little bit of weight and just let that sit there for maybe I don't know 24 hours or something come back the next day pull that off and then you could put the RTV all on this bead now and then when you're ready it acts as a real nice guide again it drops it right down on there perfect and uh, then I would just let that sit there. Oh, geez, I don't have a technical answer for you, but until you feel like it's set up pretty good, um, and you know, go ahead and make sure that it's seated all the way. You could put a little bit of, you know, just kind of tap it a little bit, make sure it's that that silicone or not the silicone, the RTV has uh, made contact all the way around, because you don't want it to dry and for there to be like a void somewhere. Then it would just obviously be a leak there um, so once you get to this point I'm kind of leaving that whole procedure up to you uh, some people will just RTV it and not use a gasket that's how the factory did it and that's fine with me I don't really care but the whole purpose of, the, of this video is to show you the valve cover girdle and okay so let's say that we just went through that whole procedure and now it looks like that. And you, now you're ready to put the girdle on. The girdle is that piece over there. 
that's a piece of steel it's going to come to you raw so you will have to paint it or powder coat it whatever your favorite thing to do is that one is just painted um, and also on the valve cover itself you see the irregular surfaces especially right here where it gets real thin and it gets real thin um, so the idea is we're going to put the gasket another gasket if you use the gasket underneath the valve cover we're going to use a, another gasket and put that on the outside just like that okay so now you see that kind of takes up that irregular surface when we clamp that piece of metal on there is going to uh, take up some of that irregularity now the next thing you're going to do once you get that on there grab the girdle itself Sorry, I had to flip it over there. Had it going on the wrong way. Um, and then you see what's happened there. Uh, it press, it's going to compress into that gasket. So all that's left to do is put all eight of the nuts on. Uh, actually, in this position, um, let me get my bearings here. Yeah, in this position, you, you're going to have that bracket on the driver's side. It's like the one that holds the dipstick. On the passenger side, it's the one that holds the heat shield on the turbo. And this would be for a uh, pickup truck or Suburban. If you're doing a Hummer, something like that, then you're going to have possibly different considerations. But the whole concept would be the same. Um, but that's it, really. You're going to put all eight of the nuts down. Um, and then I will show you what it looks like on the truck. So I'm not going to go through this whole thing. But anyway, you, you, you get the idea. Um, and then you also, you want to torque that. You want to go back and forth and evenly torque and spread that load out. Um, and just get them to the point where, you, where uh, they're snug and you can tell that they're compressing. You don't want to be completely deforming the gasket. You want to get enough pinch on it where you know there's some pinch. But uh, there's no technical torque spec on that it's just you're gonna to have to use some experience and some common sense once you feel like your your wrench is, or socket is um, got it you know right there and then you're gonna to want to go a few more turns and then go to the next one come back over to this one go to the next one and then go all the way around and um, you don't want to over tighten this but you want to make sure they're all really nice and snug down um, so I'll do one more video to end this and it will be showing you the driver's side. See you in a minute. Okay, so this will be the third part of this third part video. Um, you can see that the girdle has been installed and I will tell you it's actually a little bit tougher to do it on the driver's side than it is over there on the turbo side. That's assuming you have the turbo and everything removed. So when you get back over here, what you're going to want to do, a little tip, this is a 96 and newer, the uh, 94, 95, 92 and older may be different. By the way, this will fit 6.2s, forgot to mention that. Um, so you're going to bring that girdle in kind of under this way is what I found to be the best thing because on a 96 and newer, you're going to have to angle that girdle so that it will fit right in that little gap right there so it has to be angled a little bit downwards and also there's that return fuel line right here or right yeah right here that you're gonna have to get that up on top of the valve cover or on top of the girdle I should say um, 
and you know so don't pinch that because if you pinch that and you bolt these things down you may ruin that hard line um, and then this will just flip over there like normal I haven't tightened that down yet so I won't do that just yet but that just flips out of the way like you see there like it did you know beforehand um, so once you come in at that angle then you're gonna slide it, it'll be that girdle will be kind of at this angle facing that way then if you have your wire harness and everything over here you're gonna have to possibly get a buddy I, you know, I'm able to do it by myself but I just hold up on that wire loom bundle and then get the girdle up underneath there again making sure you're not pinching any hoses anything like your fuel injector return hoses just make sure you're not pinching anything and then when you get it all down uh, um, just put the nuts on go around torque it like I showed you in the previous video or I shouldn't say torque it because I didn't say torque it but just go around and snug it up get everything all snugged and as tight as you think that that needs to be using a little bit of common sense um, also there is the possibility that you may need to flip this girdle so if it won't go down one way you just flip it over and try it again and it will go um, and so you may run into that um, I did on this one I was trying to put it in and then I was like oh crap yeah it's just that real tight tolerance that these things are cut at um, and then you'll put the this bracket all these things are on here loose I'm getting ready to snug up this bracket the original bracket here I'll snug that up and then put the dipstick mount it back where it was and then I'm good um, at that point uh, it's just a matter of putting everything back together put the hard lines back in and reverse the process so that's it um, any questions as always let me know like subscribe comment all that good stuff it helps me um any questions let me know have a good day bye